Although personality forcing can be a very helpful part of tulpa creation, it has no inherent downsides. Many people prefer to allow their tulpa to naturally develop a personality. If you think you would prefer that, feel free to skip this video and move on to the next one in the series. However, for those who do have a personality in mind for their tulpa, or even those who just have a general idea of the kind of person they want to make, it's not very hard to steer a developing tulpa in a particular direction. Many people in guides will recommend that you create a list of traits that you would like for your tulpa to have, but in truth, it is often more important to understand the person you want to make more than a list of things that describe them. Do you have a sense for how you want and expect them to think, talk, and feel? If not, think about it and try to imagine if you actually knew the tulpa already. How would you feel about them, and what would they be like? Trusting your gut can be helpful here, as your gut feelings may be the best measure of how well your subconscious knows what you're trying to create. Only after you truly understand the person you're about to create should you create a list of traits. Do your best to describe them, whether it's through a long list of minute details or just a few broad ideas. You don't have to create the entire personality for them, and in some cases, it may feel more natural to allow your mind to fill in the gaps. Once you have your list, the traditional route is to symbolically imbue your tulpa's form with each one. There is no set way to do this, and personally, I settled with just placing a hand on their heads and thinking hard about each trait and what it meant. The key is to forever establish a connection between the tulpa and a trait, and however you would like to do that should be fine. Of course, you should also provide your tulpa with some context about what each trait and quality means. You could do this by showing them what it would look like to exhibit the trait, or by thinking and talking about its meaning. Because your tulpa is so young, with zero or minimal sentience to speak of, it may perhaps be more important for you to understand how the tulpa is supposed to show each quality. On that note, there are some don'ts with personality forcing too. You should avoid personality forcing a tulpa that shows measurable sentience, as then you would be overriding whatever personality they are already starting to develop. Of course, if your tulpa is vocal and wishes to implement a change, you can work together to partly reshape them, but keep in mind that you'll be changing who they are. On top of that, I recommend not intentionally giving your tulpa negative character traits. There's simply no need to do this because your tulpa will inevitably develop new characteristics and qualities that can be both good and bad as they mature and interact with the world. Starting them off with flaws only sets them up for failure. Personality forcing is best done before you start any other forcing techniques, but don't worry too much if you do it a little later. You should still be able to end up with a happy, healthy tulpa with a personality close to what you originally had in mind.